anyone who watches this channel regularly knows that I think the Commodore Amiga is one of the greatest computers of all time. It's certainly my favourite computer ever and I have such great memories of gaming and producing art on the machine. The other day I was thinking about when my love affair with this wonderful machine died and it ended up being put in a cupboard. The fact is it never really did. I've always had an Amiga knocking around somewhere or other and I've never really given up on it at all. But there was a time when I realised that it was obsolete and other systems such as the multimedia bloody PC overtook it. I hate that term multimedia PC. It was just a bloody PC with speakers and a CD-ROM drive for God's sake. This led me to wondering what was the last game I bought for my Amiga and it was this. Banshee by Core Design, released back in 1994. Today we are looking at the last game I ever bought for the Amiga. The Amiga AGA chipset was released in 1992 with the Amiga 4000 and also the same year the Amiga 1200 was launched that was targeted at us home users. AGA stands for Advanced Graphics Architecture and this was the third generation of graphical upgrade for the Amiga. I couldn't afford a new Amiga 1200 at the time but a friend of mine bought one and wanted to use it for playing keyboards with and he also bought a MIDI interface. Less than three months later however he'd given up on this idea and decided to sell his 1200 to me at a much reduced cost. Lucky me. Now despite this new upgrade the AGA chipset for me always felt like a little too little too late. There were some great games released for the revised machines but having seen what PCs were starting to achieve from about 1993 onwards especially with the release of Doom the poor old AGA chipset looked pretty poor in comparison. Commodore didn't know what day of the week it was at this point and their last ditch effort was to release the AGA powered games console the CD32 a year later in 1993. The CD32 was nothing more than an Amiga 1200 with a bolt-on CD-ROM drive and of course releasing the CD32 also killed sales of the Amiga 1200. This of course was the final nail in the coffin lid for Commodore and they went bankrupt soon after this. The demise of Commodore itself is a fascinating story and if you want to know more about it then I can strongly suggest buying a copy of Commodore The Inside Story by David Pleasance who was of course the UK MD of Commodore from 1993 to 1995. The Amiga brand really was the golden goose but Commodore blew it. They simply had no idea how to develop the computer and keep it abreast of the competition. 1994 of course saw the release of a really cool looking steampunk inspired vertical scrolling shooter called Banshee from Core Design. The game was specifically for AGA chipset hardware. This is my original copy of Banshee that I bought in 1994, I've still got it. It was one of those big box games, it came with four floppy disks um, and there's a leaflet in the box that tells you how to install it on your hard drive if you were lucky enough to have one and with the game comes this well, I was going to say attractive, but is it? I don't know. <laughs> it comes with this flight manual, which is pretty much just instructions on how to play the game. It really takes me back looking at this. I remember buying it and yeah, the last game I ever bought for the Amiga. How sad. Heavily inspired by the likes of Capcom's 1942 and heavily compared to 1942 as well by many video games magazines, Banshee is a vertical scrolling shooter where you control a prop driven plane or two planes if you're playing the co-op two player mode. The aim of the game is to blow the hell out of everything that moves or doesn't move. It's a bit like 1942 on steroids. The storyline of Banshee is pure nonsense about an alternative universe, an evil ruler called Blair Dax Maldrea, his equally evil Styx Empire and their plans to invade planet Earth. You play a chap called Sven Svardensvart who invents the Banshee aircraft to kick the Styx Empire's backside, something to do with his father and something to do with refusing to invent microwave ovens or some nonsense like that. It's just nonsense really. The game introduction visuals are extremely reminiscent of what you'd expect to see from the Bitmap Brothers. And so do the gameplay visuals themselves. They are absolutely gorgeous and feature some lovely technical feats such as translucency effects and changing weather. The rain and fog effects really do make things hard to see but it looks great. It's so nice and well done. 
Couple this with the whole steampunk feel and look of the game and it reminds me so much of the Chaos Engine. The art direction is superb, it's really a joy to watch this game. Each level has a specific theme to it and they are very long. You're not interrupted at all during the gameplay, the game just flows and flows. It's very slick, it's smooth and it features some lovely graphical touches. But the game is so difficult and frantic at times, you don't always notice the little nice touches that are going on in the background, it's too tough trying to stay alive. Dodging the bullets is more luck than skill most of the time and there's really very little slowdown at all, even when there's a hell of a lot of things moving about on screen. Technically, it's brilliant. Now I remember buying this game back in 1994 and I thought, yeah, this is really nice, but even then it felt a bit old school. I wanted 3D, I wanted Doom, I wanted some really cool stuff and I didn't really play it that much. And it wasn't long before the game ended up in the cupboard along with the 1200 and I hate to say it, but I ended up with a 486DX266. Sad times indeed. Right, so let's go and play Banshee on the Amiga CD32. Now, I'm not sure how far I'm going to get on my own. Um, Josh might join me, I'm not sure yet. I might need his help. <laughs> because I've not played this for a long time, and if I remember, it is very tricky. It gets a bit suicidal, actually. Um, and I'm not a fan of the CD32 control pad. I don't find it the easiest control pad in the world to use. Yeah, as I remember, everything needs sometimes more than one shot to kill and it does get a bit hectic when the screen is full of enemies. One thing you do notice about this game is the lack of in-game music. Nearly all games of this type um, had a very good soundtrack to go with the gameplay. This is silent apart from the sound effects, so I suppose... Yeah, I completely lost where I was on the screen then. Um, <laughs> I suppose it can sound after a bit of play. Um, a bit boring, I suppose. But the sound effects are very good. This game reminds me of so many different games. Um, one game that immediately springs to mind, looking at some of those helicopters, is, is Swift which is a fabulous game on the Amiga, really, really good. Whoops. A bit out of practice. One thing I did remember that I didn't like about the weapon system on this game is the fact that you have to... some of the weapons you have to shoot to select what you want. Which is fine if there wasn't so much going on the bloody screen at the same time. So you see a power-up and you can shoot it and it will turn from energy or to bullets or to two-way shot or whatever and when you're trying to stay alive and shoot everything on the screen you haven't got time to flip that weapon pick up to what you want it to be that's what I found anyway I'd rather just pick up energy or bullets or you know one of the pickups is like 5,000 or 10,000 extra points I don't really care about points in all honesty there's an energy pickup I don't really care um, about an extra 5,000 or 10,000 points I'd rather energy or weapons <laughs> so I can stay alive longer who cares about points some of these boss enemies are enormous take so many hits see so there's a one-up or 5,000 thing I'll just go for the one-up See, they, do, they definitely look like helicopters out of Swift, don't they? Or um, Silkworm. It's so smooth, isn't it? It really does look the part. It's beautifully detailed really is if you look if you've got time to look at what's going on in the background there's so much to look at you don't get time really to admire um well the visuals <laughs> see spending my time trying to flip that icon and i end up getting killed for it not good 
I always thought that was a bit of a crap way to do weapon pickups. I don't want to worry about turning it into what I need. So there's the rain effect and it looks really nice doesn't it? And of course when you shoot the power up it pushes it even further up the bloody screen. <laughs> so if you need it quickly shooting it doesn't always benefit at all because all you end up doing is pushing the power up further away from you when you need it desperately especially if it's energy. Like I said there's so much going on a lot of the time it's luck if you actually manage to avoid getting hit by anything. So the key to this if I remember rightly is making sure that your weapons are powered up. It takes so long so many hits to destroy things. If you're powered up you can blast through stuff a lot lot quicker. So I've just picked up some uh, heat sinking missiles, heat -seeking missiles which is good if I can stay alive that long to enjoy them. Oh, that's a useful power up. So it really is easier with two pay, uh, two players as you can see because the screen scrolls left and right it's more than one screen width wide um, so there's an awful lot going on and not just in your field of view it's actually out of view quite a few things are going on as well it's so detailed isn't it there's so much going on and it's an absolute joy to watch um, as much as you can without getting killed I like to look at what's going on in the background, like those little guys there. Definitely right up there with some of the Amiga's best shooters like Xenon 2, Swift, Silkworm, Battle Squadron, oh, I don't know, there's so many isn't there on the Amiga. The plane has a little bit of inertia so it doesn't respond immediately. It's a little bit sluggish. I, st I did see some criticism of that in one of the magazines when I was uh, researching this. And they're right, there is a little bit of inertia. I never noticed that before. So yeah, I'm pretty powered up now, but there's smoke coming off my aircraft, so I don't think I'm going to last too much longer without losing a life. Oh yes, I remember this. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Let's get out of his way. Enemy design is brilliant, isn't it? They really... Ah, shit. <laughs> There's always something interesting to look at. Ah, Josh has decided to join me. Hello, Josh. Hello. Now is a good time to join, actually, because I'm getting my ass handed to me on a plate. You're the... Um, orange. The orange one. Right. Help me. This D-pad is horrendous. You stay to the left. Now, weapons, I think I'm when you, orange, pick, yeah. you pick them up, ah. there's enough Gosh. for both. I think it's spread fairly. You said stay on the left. You're on my side. Oh, okay. But go where you like then. <laughs> you're on the left. Yeah, I'll stay. I'll stay to the left. You, you go to the. I, so I know. Sorry. Everything kills you, right? Even the people that f poke out of the hatches with missile launchers and stuff. Even though we're a thousand feet above them. Yes. Oh, you just nick one. No, there's one for, for both of us. There's weapons for both of us. How do I activate power ups? Um, you automatically pick them up. 
But try your special weapon and you'll do a loop the loop in the air. Wait, you have to shoot the power box. You can shoot it to change it to what you want it to be. So some weapon some power ups you cannot shoot. They just stay like energy, for example. Some Energy. Yeah. Like a little it looks like a little first aid box. Oh. And we're both about to die. I see the smoke coming off our planes. Oh, but hopefully we've got enough lives between us to keep going. This is this is level two. You join me. I've just finished level one. Why are they coming out the floor? They're coming out of everywhere. This is an alternate reality. This is supposed to be 1999, planet Earth, but like a steampunk age. A bit like Chaos Engine. It's not the Earth. Ah, oh, shit, I'm dead. Uh, oh. <laughs> not not the Earth we know. Don't worry, I'll carry you. Mate, I'm alive. You might be a pro gamer, but you're not when it comes to old school Amiga games. This D pad is horrible. I know, it's not nice, is it? It's horrendous. Who made this controller? It's Commodore. Dog shit. Look, there's, there's zombies. What? I've never noticed zombies before. See zombies? What? Look, there's little zombies coming out of the graves. Why is that the thing from Star Wars? Oh, wait, no, no, no. This game was 1994. Ah, there's a penny in the chopper. Penny in the chopper. Oh, watch those mines. In the sky? There's, yeah, those floating mines. They're oh. absolute swines. If it makes that noise, you can't fly through it, you have to avoid it, okay? So if you come across a bridge or any kind of tall structure that goes bing, 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 like that, get the hell out of its way. I'll fly around it. You have to pick up the one that's the right colour for you. Jesus. Isn't it beautifully detailed, though? Uh, pick up that, you need that, you need that. It's so beautifully drawn, isn't it? It's <laughs> Come here. You can say that again, that's what that did. Ah. It's this, look. Okay. But thing I don't, is, I don't think it does anything. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, I did it. Oh, my God, that way it's going. There's so much going on on the I screen. I can't see the bullets. So when I'm here, I'm like... Oh, oh, Those oh, change your weapon direction. It's pointing off. God. Oh, wait, so you might as well, in effect, just do this. Boom. What's that? I'm literally over. I'm literally over. So good. So good. Why do I got a boat launching missiles? He wasn't shooting at you, was he? Yes, he was. Was he? Give me this. I didn't think the fishermen shot at you. Why have I got no HP? Now, this game is by Core Design. Do you know who Core Design brought us, don't you? No. Uh, Lara Croft? No, Tomb Raider? Never pl Shit! <laughs> well, I got credit. The propeller oh. icon makes you faster. Mm. Gives you a bit of speed up. What's the point in that? Because I can barely see the bullets that I'm being hit by in it. What the? Okay, that's realistic. And that's fair. It's good, isn't it? No. Look at the detail on that enemy, though. It's so steampunk. Oh, shit! No credits. Does that mean we're not going to get much further if we carry on playing this badly? We're just trash. Shoot his fists. I was going to say his, his hand. hand. Will you stop swiping at us, you retard? What's he doing? We did it. That's yes. not fair at all. No, it's not, is it? It is insanely difficult. Apparently, I'm player one. Why does that light just come on? Uh, I must have picked up player two's controller then. Ooh. Yeah. This is incredible. It's a proper, it's a proper old school. Whoa! Where well, that was my power up? I've been scammed. Oh, here it is. What the? Oh, do we just get nuked? Yeah. Oh, it's a proper old school shoot. Look how much smoke is coming off my aircraft. Why is it blue? I Jesus cannot Christ, see. How many bullets? Might as well just fly around. Who we don't get here. Yeah, I think you know what. Sometimes it's more luck than anything I think else. That's the strat, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Might just fly around and avoid it. Whoa! Get the little swan on the motorbike. Oh, sorry. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, I'm not doing very well at all. Shit, I, just, I picked it up! And you didn't, because it's still on the screen. <laughs> Bloody hell! Why is he shooting baked beans at me? <laughs> Don't fly into the, the, the church thing. Uh, give me that. That's for us. A lot going on in there. Oh, okay. It's very whoa, busy. Why are they shooting baked beans at me? Why? Pick that up! Pick that up! You need that. 
Ah, bait beans. Bait beans never did so much Do damage. Do you remember the old texture on Minecraft of lava? It used to look like bait beans. <laughs> no, for real. Do you, no. you remember it? Like the old, old texture. No. Wait, you can just spam this until you get a plus, right? No. Why? Not, I thought you shoot and it changes. Sometimes it changes depending on what it is. Well, I'm just spamming it. Right, yeah, good. it's not going to change, I don't think. Watch those gun nests. Bait beans. What? Yes. Desperately needed. We're literally so good at this. I'm just spamming it. I don't care what What's you do, as long as you stay alive so we can get I further. I don't know what that is. I've got missiles! Get those nests if you can. Bird's nest? No, there's gun nests. What is this? I love, I love how in these games they only send two planes to deal with 1900 enemies. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, shit! Thank. It's a bit manic, isn't it? Ooh. What's going on? Doesn't matter if you know what's going on. There is a background story. It's nonsensical. I was going to say there can't be anything good. There is a nonsensical background story, it's and it's something to do with you decided to build this plane to fight the Evil Sticks Empire Shit. because the Evil Sticks Empire killed your dad because he refused to invent the microwave oven. I kid you not. Ooh. <laughs> I'm just looping the looping on him. Look. Oh, you're such a tryhard, look at you. Such a bum, I don't think you're such a bum sweat. I don't think you're in any position to call me that. Me? No. Oh I just spammed the oh I, I just spammed the parrot thing thinking it was the fire button, so I was like, why is my plane? You need the looping. It? You need those. You are a tryhard. Get one of those quick. Why is my plane flashing to It's cause you're about to die. Oh no, you got full energy now. Stay I'm alive, kid, stay alive, I need you. Shit. I've copped a missile. Ah! Oh, Jesus. This D pad is horrendous. A poor workman blames his tools. My front hurts. I prefer my new keyboard. They aren't. Do you know what? We play. We played <laughs> Speedball 2 with these controllers a few years ago, and it nearly crap. broke my bloody thumbs. Honestly, my thumb hurts. I mean, you need a good key, you need a good joystick to play Speedball 2 anyway. But trying to use a CD32 gamepad. What was that game where you had to mash like 19 buttons at once? At the arcade was that Track and Field? Or what? <laughs> What's it called? I can't remember. There's so many games you have to mash 19. Wait, you had that athletics game. That, like, the other machine you spam like 20 buttons at once and then you see like four people sit around and you go <laughs> like that I don't know I think that's like track and field or something could just be. make a guy like run down a track and jump or something oh, it could be hyper sports no, it could be that. track and field Oy, it could be look daily how many guns Thompson oh yeah as well no like, track and field that was it I reckon we were playing that at arcade club in Leeds that where you have it. to mash the button yeah. like a lunatic yeah I'm trying to think what other games you have to mash buttons like <laughs> rapidly Cod, this ha Cod, you don't really have to. Since when hot air balloons are so idea. goddamn dangerous? Energy, yes. That's one way to do it, but I think you're gonna die. <clears throat> you're gonna die. I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm not. You are. I'm literally fine. Ah oh, shit! Told you. Shut up. Told you he's gonna die. Oh, this looks like a boss. Where are you? Come back! Come back! What the hell do you want me to do? I can't believe you can. You can't come back. It feels like I'm playing on a Rubik's Cube. Oh no, we've got no credits left. It feels like I'm playing on a Rubik's Cube. Josh, I need some help here. What do you want me to do? Come back. Oh, I'm sorry. A, B, left, right, up, down, space, space, space. Where's a cheat? Find a cheat code. He hasn't got any instructions. Jesus Christ. I'm dead. Yeah, you suck. No, I'm not. I'm back. Who's this controller from Toys R Us? Commodore. Who's, who's been playing on one of those um, Fisher Price toys? Commodore. Sure. It, honestly, it feels like a Fisher Price thing. You know, when you press it, it does like a fire engine sound, and then the baby gets gassed. Like, 
No, not like actually gassed, like happy gassed, but excited. Josh, I'm trying to focus, mate. Shit! You suck. Is that it? What a load of bullshit. Well, we didn't get very far, did we? I'm expecting it to make like a police car sound in a second. Well, I'm really disappointed because we didn't get very far, and I thought Pro Gamer here. Um, Excuse me! Would carry me a bit further? Or I'm not carry... used to playing on Fisher Price controllers. Okay. Let me ask you a question. What do you think of the game? Well, actually, I see its potential. It seems to be a bit. Okay, what I don't like Tense. about it. What I don't like about it. Okay, for once, I actually have um, proper um, feedback. Yeah, proper feedback. I don't like how there's. I feel like there's too much background picture. There's too much going on. Yeah. Like, I like the game with the planes and the shooting and the tanks. All of that. That's normal. Yeah, I, I like that. But I think there's so much background stuff, as in like streets, trees, houses. It's difficult to it's see. It's beautifully drawn, though, isn't it? Yes, it is. But it's difficult to see the actual bullets coming towards yes, you. Yes, that's a and fair point. And even more difficult to avoid it because by the time you've actually like. Notice them, shit. You can't do anything. But I think no. that's because the background is so. I think so you much are stuff going absolutely on. spot on, right? In that, it's a beautiful game to look at, and but it is. I'm just looking at it yeah, now. Yeah. Your eye, you can't take your eyes off it, can you? It, is, it's too it looks busy. wonderful. There's too much going on. Like there's um, so many random yeah. things that you can't. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and the, the difficulty level is insane. It's absolutely insane. Yeah, the difficulty is all right. You the know, I think if fine. we if we put a, a, an infinite life cheat in, is the only way we'd ever I think see the, the end of this fine, game. fine, but the yeah, the back the background is way too complicated. Yeah, and it feels like I'm playing on a Fisher Price controller. Yeah, these controllers are some. I mean, crap. There's yeah, crap. bad controllers, and there's these. I mean, I hate the um, N64 Trident one. Yes, it's awkward to use. And hold yeah, but even that's still better than this. this. Yeah, it, this feels like. Look, listen. Yeah, it is a bit plasticky, but feels like something a four-year-old would have on the steering wheel of those, like you know, those little motorized cars. Oh, do you remember like that V? Do you remember that that VTEC steering wheel used to have that used That's to go it. fire engine, v police car? That is one of those things where you go like that and it train plays, exactly, and it plays like a Press train it again. noise. Train exactly, yeah. <laughs> it'd be something like that. It's one of these controllers, and it feels like VTEC. I just feel shit. <laughs> You used to really bug me with that toy. Because you used to spam the keys, and all you'd hear is train, 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 police car. I bet they just put this thing together in 10 minutes. They probably did because it was at the end of Commodore's life, really. The poor buggers went, um, Stop it! Stop being abusive! It's so cheap! Commodore went bust after the release of the CD32. You're not a gerbil. Um, so, yes, there was our, albeit brief look at Banshee on the CD32. It looks like a Rubik's Cube as well. It feels like I'm playing on a Rubik's Cube. Um, yes. Sorry we didn't get further. It's difficult, and he's not very good. But um, as you can see the potential of the game, it is, you're not very good, let's be honest. Nor are you! I'm better than you. 1v1 me on... Banshee. No. <laughs> know, see you later, guys. If I was on a keyboard and mouse, <laughs> it'd be so much better. going through a phase recently of just slating. Slating everything. everything. I went shopping with mum at Morrison's and I just started slating everyone. He just couldn't wear a mask properly. It was like this old bloke. He was the one who was at risk of Covid. Had it on his chin and I just I gave him that look as if to say you know what you're doing and I think you're a <laughs> Do you know what I'm that look? Yeah. I, 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 make, I make the effort to like touch my mask and walk past and stare at them so they know they know yeah, that they're yeah. being stupid. And half the time they actually correct it as well. It's quite funny.